Hey beautiful people. Hi family community. How are we doing today? Yes, I'm in the car today. Ah, not a great setting right now, but it's the most quiet place right now for me. So sometimes you have to get into your more quiet, uh, most on, you know, uh, what to say. Ah uninterrupted spot in order to say what God wants you to say so everything was going wrong um, during this period and I was like okay maybe I just shouldn't video this morning everything under the sun was going on this morning so maybe what I said have to say is important because sometimes that's what it is when you need to get it out if, and, and it's something powerful or something important all hell breaks loose right everything goes wrong so I was determined to get this out today plus I haven't spoken to you in a little while and God had rested this on my back on my chest last night I strongly believe it it was put up put inside me a little bit of words today to come out um, to you because I had really planned to say something else and that wasn't working out so and then last night I got really tired and this all came to me you know just use the something that I was going through before so going to lay it on you today. So forgive the setting and just use the words and hopefully it can reach someone today who may be going through. It's a topic that we kind of laid or set a foundation on before. So if you go back into one of the previous videos, you will, you will see I had discussed a, a little bit about prayer if I had to entitle what I was going to say to you today it would be prayer is powerful and can move mountains prayer is powerful and it will I should say it will move mountains once you do it right right so it got me thinking um, I was really deeply concerned about a loved one, <clears throat> a loved one, and I started really going into prayer. And prayer can lead you into so many other things. Fasting, you know, can lead you into warfare praying. It can lead you into meditation. It should b build your faith. If you're praying, you're in a good Bible-based church, you're reading the Word, and you're not moving, you're st stagnant in Christ, you're not learning more about God and yourself and gaining stronger, being stronger in your Christian walk, something's wrong. You might be distracted, you might be doing it all wrong. So I'm going to help you a little bit this more today to um, grasp some strong points that will help you with making your prayer life a little more powerful. So I was, as I said, praying for a loved one and not knowing what to say. Because many times I'm put on a spot to pray and I feel like, oh my goodness, what am I going to say? And then words just start, words just begin to come. And they're just what I would want to say. So that's God inspired. You know, I feel like it. Because if it was self, I'd just be like, dumbfounded. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, but I really feel like God inspires you and speaks through you when you ask him to. And sometimes when you can't and he knows that you really want and or need to petition. So, my loved one had cancer. And I was, yeah, a bit des devastated at first, very much so. Um, but I know prayer works. And I know I have a God that can move mountains. So, I went to town on prayer. And I got some prayer warriors along for the ride to help me to pray. Because sometimes you got to ask for help. you got to ask for help. And nothing better than having some Christian buddies with you on that journey. So that they can understand where you're coming from to help you with the prayer. And I elicited their help. And sure enough, prayer moved mountains. Because today my friend um, is going through radiation right now. But they're seeing no cancer. So that's what um, prayer can do. Prayer and God, of course, he's going to move things out the way and make things possible and heal things. But you have to petition to him. You have to be able to know how to communicate with him. And prayer is just that, communicating with the master. The one who set it all in motion. The one that can do anything and make everything possible. We have to learn to pray. And praying is just communicating with God. Sometimes we make it more difficult than it really is. In your own language, in your own words, you petition to God. You speak to God. You Prayer, even you can pray at, or meditate in your mind with God. You can. And get some of the same results. But you have to know how to do it wholeheartedly. Right? I went through so many little storms recently. So many. And most of them, I should say, yeah, most of them got me into the pansy. You know, you, you, oh my goodness, what is going on here? What am I going to do? When the answer is right in front of you as a Christian person. Of course, if you're out there and you don't know God, you will get panicked and there will be no resort, right? But as a Christian, prayer should be there for you you should be able to know how to go before God so you know I, I that might have been the the first impulse to get pansy a little panicked okay what's going on one after the other tree fell totaled our car <laughs> you know then the next day I learned my grandma had passed and so many things started trickling down so I had to go into some prayer time, real prayer time, powerful prayer time and speak into God and speak into things that he will operate and move out your way. These are the types of things that we need to orchestrate in our life to make prayer possible. Seven things we should do when we pray and I'm going to leave that with you now. Prayer exact, right? Number one, prayer exact. And that just pretty much means you're going to be specific about what you want from God, what you want God to do for you. If you want a husband, you're not going to tell God, I want a husband. I need a husband next week. No, we need to get more detail, more descriptive. I want my husband to be this. I want my husband to be that. You know, I really would like a man of God and become more descriptive with God. And what do you want to bring to the table to this man of God? 
talk to God as he is your friend. Speak to him, but be clear, precise, exact. Two, prayer with, be with faith, right? Prayer with and in faith. Meaning that you aren't going to go and ask someone for something if you don't think they're capable of being able to give it to you. You believe that in some way this person is going to answer your call and give you what you're asking for. Same thing with God. When you are petitioning or praying to him, you are going to believe that he is capable, right, of doing what it is that you're asking of him. So prayer with and in faith. Three, prayer consistently without begging. Pretty much meaning you pray, yes, you pray on a matter and you pray different aspects of it. And we pray consistently about other things. But if you stick on that one matter all the time, pleading, Please, please, God, please, please. Every day you're pleasing about the same exact matter, the same exact topic. I've learned before, and I really strongly feel this is so, that we don't need to please every day. We don't need to ask God, please, 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 on that same topic every day. Because it becomes like you're begging him. And I don't think we need to beg God. He's our Heavenly Father. And He's there for us. And anything we ask of Him, if it be in His will, our will, designed for us, and will benefit us, I do believe that He will grant it unto us without a beg. When you want something from your mom or dad, you know, and they're capable of just giving it to you, I am sure we don't have to beg, right? Right? Am I wrong? Am I right? <laughs> or a friend, right? So anyway, with God, we, sh we shouldn't need to beg. So we can pray consistently about other things, other aspects of things. But when it comes to one thing, you're praying for that new car. You pray? Yes? But you don't beg. You pray and leave it to God. Now then you pray. Thank you God for that new car. Even before you see it. So you're going into the faith aspect now. You're believing that he will bring that new car. And you're already thankful. That you're going to see it come to fruition soon. So you thank him. But every day, every day, please, God, for this car, please, God. I don't think that that is necessary because it becomes like begging God. And we don't need to beg him. We have to believe that he will bring it in his timing and the right timing for us. Timing that will benefit us the most. Then number four, prayer for forgiveness, giving thanks for others, and exactly what we may need for ourselves from God. So if we're asking something of someone else, if we're not in a good place with them, this person, number one, is going to put up a blockade on you. They're going to block you. Like, are you for real? Like, you're not in a good place with me, but you're asking me of a favor. You're asking me to do something. Get it right. Right. Let's get it right. We have to try to remember to start our prayer off with forgiveness. Asking God to forgive us of our trespasses. Forgive us of anything knowingly or unknowingly that we have done that was not pleasing in God's sight. Right. Sometimes we do things, we do do things, and we're not even quite aware that it's not pleasing to God until much later on, or we might not know. 
and we just go back to God. I do it too. I go into prayer sometimes. It's urgent. Sometimes I just go into prayer and forget that really important and essential, I think. And, and I, I think most Christians think or know. That it is important to start with asking God's forgiveness. You know, please forgive me for anything knowingly or unknowingly that I may have done that was not pleasing in your sight. And help it to be more clear. Right? Alright, so we should give, um, ask for forgiveness, give thanks. Thank you God for all that you have done in bringing me out through this week. Thank you for blessing me and helping me to see things more clearly. Whatever it is, give God thanks for what he's doing in your life at that moment. Then we pray for others, our loved ones, thanking him for how they are in your life at the time that you need them the most. Thank you, God, for our loved ones who are just present. You know, whatever it is with our loved ones, we pray. And then we come to our own petitions for ourselves, whatever it is that you need from God, right? So forgiveness to me is a big aspect of prayer and we should set ourselves in a good place with God first and then we thank him and then we go about our prayer. To me, that is important. Five, we should pray uninterrupted. Sometimes, you know, the noise around us can distract us. People talking, whatever it is that can be a disruption during prayer time. Try to eliminate it. Try to go away from it when you're in prayer or meditation mode. We need reverence with God, right? I see some people... You know, have music on and they're praying. Well, I guess it depends on what type of music and how low it is. <clears throat> but me, I like to be in quiet zone when I'm praying. You know, so sometimes it's urgent and you probably got to pray where you got to pray. But the majority of the times when you really need that relationship, when you want God to just be you and him. It should be uninterrupted, right? Six, prayer expecting. And that comes through believing. Because if you don't believe, you're not going to expect. So prayer expecting. I know that I've prayed this prayer. And maybe more than once. But not consistently begging. <laughs> and we've prayed. And now I'm just thankful, God, that. You're going to bring it for me. And you're looking out, you know. I know God is going to bring it for me. I don't know when. I don't know where. But I know he will. And you are believing strongly in your heart and expecting. And seven, prayer wholeheartedly with your heart. Not only when you're happy. Not only when you're sad. When God has blessed you with wonderful things, when he has blessed you with good things, thank him, praise him, magnify his holy name. And when things are going wrong and out of place and out of order, praise him and thank him that things will get better. Ask him, ask him for forgiveness. Go through that period of knowing that you can call on God even when things aren't going wrong or even when you're not in a happy place. Okay? Let those things line up for your prayer to become more impactful, more powerful because prayer is powerful and you can allow it with God to move mountains. And when I say mountains, those big grand things that you can't scale yourself, that you can't execute yourself, put God to the test and see that he will bring out the best. Okay, just put him in, 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 in that testing place. 
Many times I don't bring scripture out when I'm talking to you because most time I'm just bringing out what he's putting me to say or what I've been inspired to say to you that I feel can help somebody out there. So many times I use um, the time to just express. But I do leave scripture in the description box most times when I'm talking pertaining to scripture and pertaining to God and pertaining to our Christian walk. Scripture is usually in the description box. So always please check the description box for scripture. Today's was inspired by 1 Samuel 4 with the Israelites and the Philistines. And I'm not going to get into it now, but I will leave you some scripture that you can meditate on there as well. But with your prayer walk, always remember those seven things to put in place to create some action. Pre present an impactful, powerful prayer life. Okay, and I'll go over real quick what they were again. Praying exact, be precise, pray with and in faith, believe, pray consistently without begging. You don't need to beg God. Pray for forgiveness, give thanks, and petition for your loved ones before you get into self, before you get into asking God what you want Him to do. Prayer uninterrupted, give God some reverence, some some quiet time and build that relationship with him prayer expecting don't you cannot not expect stuff and 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 things god you got you want blah, 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 excuse me you want for god to do if you're not believing in him with your faith expecting for him to do something great in your life and move that mountain that you want him to move prayer with your whole heart and not only in the happy times, not only in the sad or angry times, but prayer wholeheartedly with God. So do these things and do them well. And I am assuring you, one thing I might have added if I had to add an eighth one would be sometimes we need to get into the word first before we pray. Not always. But sometimes praying can line you up for a magnificent time with God. Just building that relationship, knowing something more about God and presenting it into the prayer could be significant as well. So those are the things that I want you to practice next time if you don't already do it um, during prayer. Okay, so have a wonderful, wonderful day where Wherever you are in the world, I know I have my viewers from all over the world. So I'm thanking you for joining us. I'm thanking you for listening. And next week, guess what? I'm going to have a surprise. I'm going to have a surprise. I was going to tell you, but I think I'm going to leave it as a surprise. I'm now getting really, 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 really excited about it. I was excited about it before, but I was kind of, I don't know why, nervous and not really thinking about it but now i'm rushing and i'm excited about it so you're gonna see me let's just put it this way i'll give you a clue in a new place next week so i might come on before next week but if i don't you'll see me monday or tuesday you'll be seeing me next week okay and maybe a little bit more because i'll have a little bit more time on my hands so grace and peace love you so much i love you guys i love you i love you but God loves you more, okay? So you stay tuned, stay put, and don't 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 raggle out on me, okay? Stay put. I think you're going to enjoy it. I'm thinking about whether to just open up another channel and then that will be just mainly for that aspect of the conversation, the topic. Okay, but yeah, stay tuned and I think you might enjoy that part of the conversation. Okay, all right, do take care. I love you guys. God bless. Have a great day. Whatever you do, have a great day. And prayer, prayer, prayer moves mountains and it's power. It's very powerful. So keep trusting, believing, expecting and continue to prayer. God bless you.